I'm David, alcoholic. Um, happy to be here. I, uh, I, I wrote out everything that I was going to say today, but it was really hard to, uh, to write out. And um, I'm going to tell you about my son's fighting during the time that I was trying to write it, because I think that's going to be important, and I'll bring it back in the story later on. Um, I'll start the first time I went to AA, which was in 2006. Um, I just mention it because it was dangerous for me then, uh, because when I was there, I, I didn't really get it. Um, you know, I just went to the meetings. Uh, I'll tell you how I got there. I was, I was messing up. I was blacking out. I wasn't going to work. Um, and my dad's an alcoholic, so, you know, I just called my dad, and I said, hey, dad, I'm like, I don't know what to do with this. And he's like, you? He's like, you don't do that. I'm like, yeah, yeah, I do. And uh, he's like, okay, go to room, sit down, shut up. It's the rules. I'm like, okay. So I went to rooms, I sat down, I shut up, and I didn't really do much in many ways. Um, that was, uh, I'll give you some geographical history too. That was in Barrie. So, because um, I'm going to get back to Toronto, that's where I'm originally from. We moved around a lot. So that was in Barrie. I started going to meetings. I got dry, and I'll call it dry. Uh, it's called, it's all, it, I read about later and found out, which is uh, a dry alcoholic. So I became dry. I didn't drink. And they told me, you know, a couple of things that I hung on to. And they said, you know, provide service. And service is really important. So, so I did service in my church. So I thought that was good enough. And uh, years went by. I still stayed dry. I wasn't really, my life didn't really change. Uh, I figured I had it figured out. And um, I, I ended up getting served with some papers, uh, which is a legal court case. And uh, everything that I thought was my life was, was shaken. I didn't know, if, um, I, didn't know if, if I would keep my job, if I'd keep my house, if I'd keep anything. Um, and it just rocked my world, and I didn't know what to do. Uh, and, and I really went into more depression. I had been diagnosed with major depressive disorder before. And um, I just had anxiety. Every time I saw a cop car go by, every time I saw a police officer I'm waiting for this trial to come. I just have all this anxiety and still dry, just white knuckling it. <clears throat> and um, I got my kids, and they're going crazy inside my in law's house. And uh, this other guy I know that goes to a church is drinking some wine. And I thought to myself, well, if he's drinking wine, then I guess I can drink some wine too. And uh, I started drinking again. And I thought, oh, this is great. I feel relaxed. I feel better. This, this is this the answer. This is what I'm looking for. I, I just didn't figure out how to do it right the first time. Um, there's got to be, you know, I just got to, I got to figure out how to do this and this at the same time. So I, I started drinking, and I can just tell you that that doing it right did not last very long, and it got really rough. Um, Yeah, it, 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 it progressed very badly. It became a weekend thing, then an evening thing, then an everyday thing. And it was always a secret thing. So um, a lot of the drinking was, was not, yeah, you know, my wife didn't know about it. It was, you know, uh, it, it was pretty bad. Um, she didn't know about it when I started drinking because I put my wine in a coffee mug, you know, because that was going to make it better. Looked like coffee, right? It was red wine. It's solid thinking here for sure. Um, <clears throat> not thinking. Anyways, long story short, uh, some. So I, I was struggling. I, I, I'm going to bring in the, the God thing because God plays a huge part in this for me. And and you know, I was angry at God. You know, I really didn't get it. You know, I was I was trying to do stuff with the church. Um, I was leading the youth ministry at the time, and, um, and things were hard, you know? Like, how could they be hard? Like, aren't they supposed to be easy? I'm doing, like, good things, and, and it's not going right. And um, I know you feel sorry for me already, eh? Yeah. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> but um, anyways, uh, see, I told you I tried to write this down. It didn't work. Get, get back to where I wanted to be is I, I just I was angry at God I didn't get it um, but slowly we moved we moved back to Toronto from Toronto we got into some debt we sold our house moved to Ottawa we've been in Ottawa for three years I didn't want to move here but I'm really glad that I did so 
Thanks, Ottawa. You guys are lovely. I still love my people from Toronto, too, so don't, don't think I forgot about you. Um, but I didn't have a church when I came here. So I started doing online because church was closed down, and this guy reached out to me, and he says, hey, we're doing this Bible study. You should come to this Bible study. And I'm doing the Bible study, but I'm drinking at the same time because it's in Zoom online, and I'm just, you know, whatever. And I, oh, five minutes? Five seconds? Five minutes. Okay. Yeah, I can do this. Okay. Uh, let's quick that stuff. Okay, so anyways, it wasn't good. For some reason, divine intervention, this guy says, hey, come and meet me, do this thing. I ended up finding confidence in him and saying, okay, you know, I can let this guy know. I feel like he's, he's not going to judge me too much if I tell him, you know what, I'm a, I'm a hopeless alcoholic. I just can't stop drinking. I don't know what it is. It's like every day I say I'm not going to go back out there, and I go back out there. I don't know. You, you know some people here know. I just, that's just what happens. Um, anyways, he's like, okay, I know this guy. He can help you out. He's like, do you want his number? No. <laughs> I don't want his number. <laughs> Like, let me just let me just think about it a little more. Maybe there's a way that I can control this and make it make it work. <laughs> but anyways, I think it maybe took about a week before I realized that wasn't going to work. And I was like, all right, I have this guy's number. And uh, I remember I had a meeting with him over Zoom, and I, I was just like, man, I got to meet this guy. And I'm like, first thing is going to be hard. It's like, can I meet this guy sober? I'm like, am I going to be able to make it to this meeting and not drink? Um, and, uh, and I met him, we sat in my garage, and I'm just like tears pouring down my face, trying to tell him what's going on. He's telling me stuff, and he's, he's telling me i got to like work with people and stuff like that. And I don't know if you heard that. Drew was talking about that, like working with people and stuff. And I was like, you're not going to drink again, and you're going to do this program. And, and I was like, okay, I'm excited about this program thing. I'm not excited about this time with other people or helping people stuff. But I'm like, but I'm really screwed, so you better help me stop drinking. Um, and, uh, and yeah, anyways, uh, started going. He started showing me these things that we were doing. We went through some steps and had to do some hard work, you know. Um, he got me sponsoring a guy after I finished the first step, which took like three months, so I don't think it was like a quick conversation. Um, and I'm glad he did, because uh, honestly, I, I couldn't, there was days that I, I was feeling so down on myself, and, and this guy called, and I'm just like, oh, I gotta listen to this guy. I'm like, I had a bad day, what do I gotta talk to this guy for? And then I talked to him, and I go on the phone with them, and I start trying to tell them, give them some things, and I hang up on the phone with them, and I don't realize that I've just hung up on the phone, and I feel amazing now. I don't, and I just, I just like literally left my work, felt like garbage, and then this answered this guy's call, and then by the time I hung up talking to him, I felt, you know, I, I forgot every every problem that I thought was so big because it wasn't big anymore. Um, yeah, but. Um, it's, it's great. Uh, getting back to the, the kids fighting. Uh, one of the biggest things, I just, I struggled with relationships in life. You know, I, I, couldn't, I couldn't deal with my, my family, them, them there. Like I would, I, I feel bad. There's a, there's a couple stories. There's one that I'll share with you. Uh, and it's, it's rough. I punched the door right through to my, my son's door. And, uh, and, and I, you know, I, I keep thinking that I'm gonna be paying for some therapy sessions for this one for sure. But, um, you know, I'm just so happy now. Today, where I am is that before I would have been so selfish and self-centered, and I'm still there, I'm just not as much as I was then. Um, today, I was thinking, oh, I've got to write this thing. I've got to figure out what I'm going to be talking about. And uh, I kind of left it to the last minute, but that wasn't my fault, I'm sure. Um, and my kids started fighting about this car while I'm trying to write what I'm going to say here to myself. And I'm thinking to myself, and I'm like, what are you, what are you going to do? Like, and I'm thinking to myself, like, I'm going to get angry, and I'm going to get, I'm like, what? Am, do I have a program, really, if I'm going to go get angry at my kids for not letting me write what I'm going to say here because I'm so important and I'm whatever? And I thought to myself, I'm like, oh, man. I'm like, let me go talk to them. And I was so... I'm sorry, I'm going to be proud of myself. I, I try to be humble, but I'm going to be proud of myself. But when they were fighting, I went over and I just, I took the car from one of their hands and I just told the other one, I said, what's wrong? I said, just calm down, just stop. And I didn't yell at them, which is my go-to. I love to yell. 
It's great. It's not great. It feels great in the moment, but it's terrible. But slowly, um, I'm building the relationships back with my family. I'm going to be able to fix all the stuff that's been done in the past. And I'm, I'm just I'm happy to, to share what I've got because um, somebody shared it to me for free. And uh, I can't keep it to myself because um, I love you guys. So thank you.